In this video, we're going to talk about edu creation. So you're going to go ahead and sign up and depending on if this is a teacher or student signing up, will determine which button you choose. So when you sign up as a teacher, go ahead and fill in all of the information. Confirm your password. And I'm gonna unselect notify me about new features, but of course that's a personal preference. So then you select your school. And if you cannot find your school, then you can refine your search or register your school. Um, but my school is listed, so I'm gonna confirm my school. And this is Ms. Watson's class. Subject area is math. Seventh grade, so we're going to do algebra. Um, and create the class. All right, so once you're in, you can add students. You can go into your settings and change anything that you just created for your class. But we're going to focus on adding lessons. So we're going to add a new lesson. So in the top left hand corner it says lessons. You can choose lessons that you've already created, your favorites, your recents, but we're going to go to new lesson. So when you go to new lesson it's going to bring up a whiteboard. Now this is something that you can use to create a lesson to send to your students or your students can sign on and create an account and they can create a project screen recording what they are doing in class. There is an app for this that you can find in the app store. So if you have iPads for your classroom, if your students can bring their own devices, they can download the app on their phones and they can write straight onto the iPad to record their lesson. If you're using a laptop that is not connected to a smart board, you can get a Wacom, W-A-C-O-M, pad and it's a pad that you hold in your hand and you write on a pen and it will record it on the screen or if your laptop is connected to a smart board you can write with the pen either way so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to my google drive and i'm going to create a new presentation so on this presentation I'm going to change my layout so that it's a title and body and I'm just going to add a table because I'm going to make my lesson on making predictions. So I'm going to insert a table that is a 4 by 2 And we're going to have students' favorite sports. So we have soccer with eight students, baseball or softball with three students, volleyball with five students, and track and field with four students. So I have this table. And now my questions are going to be, number one, what is the size of the sample? Number two, what is the probability that a student will prefer soccer? Number three, what is the probability that a student will prefer volleyball? And number four, there are 550 students in the school. 
predict how many students at the school prefer track and field. So we're going to use this to take a screenshot and we're going to import it into EduCreation. So I'm using a snipping tool and I'm going to do File, Save As. So now I'm back in EduCreations and I'm going to click on the image at the bottom and make sure I'm in my Downloads folder and I'm going to choose my image. So now this is going to upload it and I can click on it and drag it wherever I choose to do that. So now that I have this set up and I have my text in and you can make that however you want to make it, I can click on this record. So I'm going to allow access to my microphone and now the recording has started. So now I can teach about making predictions. So for this table, we're going to use it to find the following information. A survey of students' favorite sports was taken from a random sample of students in a school. The results are shown in the table. Eight preferred soccer, three preferred baseball or softball, five preferred volleyball, and four preferred track and field. So now I can go through and teach what is the size of the sample so I can, as a teacher, walk through and show the students that when you are looking for a sample size, you're going to add the numbers in the table. So I'm going through and I'm teaching students that when I add all these together, that's 20, so my sample size is 20. So then I go through what is the probability that a student will prefer soccer. And so I go through and I teach the student in this lesson. And then once I'm finished, I am going to save. I can preview it to watch what I just recorded. I can start over or I can save it. So we're going to save this. And now the lesson of the title is making predictions. I can put a summary that it's teaching about finding the sample size and the probability on an event. It wants to be published. You need to make sure that it's published. Choose your subject. This is statistics and it is seventh grade. And so now I create it. Now that it's created, I can select this lesson. If I want to delete it, you can. Otherwise, my students can now go to my EduCreations and they can watch the recording that I have posted. So I would share this using this permalink you can share it on Google Classroom. If your school uses Remind, you can push it out with a Remind. If you have a website for your classroom, you can choose to embed it. So if your students are using EduCreation to create a project, then they're going to take this permalink and they're going to copy it and then go to their Google Classroom where you have uploaded the assignment for them to create this project and they will turn in that link underneath the assignment. And that is how you use EduCreations to create projects and lessons for your classroom.